Hello Pirates, this is Yun for the Hunted Tips of the Plunder Pirates. This video is the introduction of the new character called the Sky Raider. Thanks for the effort of the Midoki, and they are giving a new character, and this is very fun. <laughs> and introduce this new character to you. And here is the new character called the Sky Raider. And when you press the information, you can see that the wind direction is quite very important. And when you see the damage is 30 and toughness is 90. Let's try to compare with the Buccaneer. It looks very similar to the Buccaneer. Uh, so when you see the Buccaneer, you can see that the damage is 28, almost similar to the 30, and the toughness is 230. So it seems like it's more vulnerable character than the Buccaneers. But what happens when I upgrade fully? So let's try to check out the Academy. And when you add up all these toughness stuff upgrades, it's gonna be 135, but still it's gonna be the half toughness. But still, anyway, he flies. And I think this is the main skill, the, the rain of fire. I think it's going to be shooting from the parachute in the air. And it's going to be an air attack, and that's going to be very cool. Maybe similar to the Clash of Clans. Anyway, so this guy is very vulnerable. So let's try to deploy the units first, the basic units first. And then check the wind direction carefully. And you can see that the wind is blowing from the east to the west. And you can see that it's, it cannot be deployed at the land. It's only deployed, uh, it can be deployed at the water sides. And you can see it's flying by the direction of the wind. And it has just dropped. And then it's attacking. And you can see the damage is quite nice. It's almost similar to the Buccaneers. I don't see any difference from the Buccaneers. And the damage is quite nice. So I think this will be very a uh, game changer when you drop it in front of the Mortar. I think it's going to be very... A game changer, game changing, a game changer unit. Anyway, I like it. Uh, still no attack from the cannons, but I think it's going to be very vulnerable. So now it's going close to the cannons, and they are being damaged, and they're dead. Hmm. So they're right now dead, and because of the poor toughness, it was about. Remember that it was about like 130, right? So, but still, I think this is going to be, we can keep using it, and let's try to test, let's try to see in other direction, other camera field. And you can see that there's a new uh, upgrade about this camera stuff, and you can see the parrots are jumping down, uh, new camera view, and this is, it makes this game much more fun to see the replays. I think it's really good to show this to your friends and like, like showing and show off this game that, wow, look at this, like, camera view. It's going to be very fun to see. Like, when you see the Clash of Clans, they show, like, advertisements in 3D, but actually when you play the game, it's almost like 2D, but this is all in 3D. I love it. <laughs> nice graphic. Okay, let's try to see another uh, another uh, camera view, and you can see that they're dropping. And so, this is it. When they encounter the building, they're going to drop for the first time. So... You have to think about the direction of the wind, and you have to think about the point you're deploying. So when they go straight, and when they encounter first building, you can see this in the slow video, they're dropping at the first building they encounter. So this got to be very, like, it should be very pinpoint deployment. You should be, like, doing, like, a pinpoint. When you calculate, and when you, if you want to really drop him, the units to a certain point, you have to be very, very accurate. But I think that will make the game very fun and exciting and to keep concentrate. So to use this uh, Sky Raider more useful uh, unit, that means you have to understand his flight. You have to analyze how he flies. So I have tested on this big beach, a wide beach, and you can see that he's flying a certain distance and then he's descending and he drops. Look at this, let's try to see one more time. He flies a long distance, maybe like 10, and then he drops. So he's going to be killed. So, But if it's a short flight, when he encounters a building, he's going to drop right away. So this is how you have to utilize him. So if it's a big bitch, you have to have in mind how the distance, how much distance he flies. And then if it's a short distance, think about the buildings that you really want him to be dropped in front of. So try to break down all the stuffs with other uh, units and then try to deploy them in front of a very strong like mortars or something like that if you like my videos please click the honey jar in the two o'clock to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching